Good evening. My name is Tabisha Dominique, and you are now tuned in to the food that never spoils. This is your daily scripture reading. Blessings to all. On this podcast, you receive the meat, which is from your King James Bible, and the milk which is from the Contemporary Word and Life Bible. Now, as you know, I give you just an appetizer, an appetizer of scriptures every day that the Lord gives me to give for breath in hopes that you will go and feast for yourself on the Word of God. Today's topic is forgiveness. That is a difficult topic for everybody to grasp. Forgiveness. It's difficult for me. But staying in my word, trusting our Heavenly Father, it makes it easier Because of the forgiveness that he gives for my sins allows me to have more forgiveness for what others have done to me. And we know that God offers forgiveness for any sin. Now, before we get into the scripture, let's get into the origin of the food that never spoils. The food that never spoils from your contemporary word and life Bible first comes from John chapter 6, verse 27, as it reads, Don't work for food that spoils. Work for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food because God the Father has given him the right to do so. That sound is the sound that you'd hear at the end of each scripture to let you know that the Father's word has come to a close. Just in case I mention a bullet point or the Spirit excuse me, comes up on me to add um, just an additional conversation in regards to the word. You know, you can't add, subtract, or do anything to the Father's word. So that bell lets you know that the scripture has come to a close. Now, the same scripture from your meat Bible, King James, that's John Chapter 6, verse 27, as it reads, Labor not for the meat which perish, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him have God the Father sealed. Now let's get right into our scriptures for today. Now, I cannot say this enough. I cannot say this enough. This is an appetizer. You know, we're dealing in the last days. It's a lot of a lot of things out here to have your mind wondering on things that it shouldn't be. And it's so important that you shield with the armor of God every single day. If you truly a believer in God and you've been blessed with the gift of breath that he wakes you up, there's no reason that you can't give him 20 minutes out of your day. I'm giving you 15 or more as an appetizer 
to let you know how important it is and to help you along because it's hard to start something that you should be doing. You know, procrastination is a, is contagious. So a lot of people can't get full off just the appetizer. That's why it's called the appetizer. It's right before the main course. Just a little snack to hold you over while they're preparing your meal. So the main course consists of you, your Bible, alone, spending time with our Heavenly Father. That's the main course. The scriptures for today starting in Isaiah chapter 43 verses 25. Verse 25. And this is in regards to forgiveness and God offering forgiveness for any sin. As it reads. I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake's sake and remembers your sins no more. Now, as I told you before, that sound is to let you know that the Father's word has come to a close prior to going into the next scripture. If you hear a little meow, that's Salmon, our co-host, the cat. Psalms 103, verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he Removed our transgressions from us. Lamentations. Oh, and before I forget, before somebody beep in, let's go ahead and lock in that do not disturb. Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 22. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassion never fail. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 9. The Lord, our God, is merciful. And forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. Romans chapter 8, verses 1 through 2. Therefore, there is now no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Psalms 103 verses 1, no, 3 through 4. If you, O Lord... Keep a record of sins, O Lord. Who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness. Therefore, you are feared. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. For he has rescued us. From the domination of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son He loves. Take it.
turning the page here. And as a brief reminder, if you don't yet belong to a prayer group, my name is Tabisha Dom Unique, and you can check me out on Facebook, Jesus on the Main Line, which we have women's studies every Saturday. Glory be to God. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 22 I have swept away your offenses like a cloud your sins like the morning mist return to me for I have redeemed you Isaiah chapter 38 verse 17 surely it was for my benefit that I suffered such anguish anguish and your love you kept me from the pit of destruction you have put all my sins behind you have put all my sins behind your back now I got glasses. It's best that I clean them, huh? Excuse me. That had to come out. Oh, wow. What a difference clean glass makes. Medici, chapter 7, verses 18 through 19. Who is a God like you? Who pardons sin and forgives the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever, but delight to show mercy. You will again have compassion on us you will tread our sins underfoot and hurl all our inquities into the depths of the sea these next couple of scriptures that I read will be in regards to seeking forgiveness Seeking forgiveness. We'll start with Psalms 38 verse 18. I confess my inquities. I am troubled by my sin. Psalms 51 verse 7. Cleanse me with hyssop. And I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Psalms 32, verse 5. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my inquities. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sin Isaiah 55 6 through 7 seek the Lord while he may be found call on him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will freely pardon. The last three scriptures 